I'm getting ready to make the rack and to do that I've cut two one half inch by three inch pieces of plastic from the sheet and I've glued it together with the hot melt glue gun so now it's double the thickness now I'm going to use a regular school glue stick to glue the, the template onto this piece so that I can cut it out just let that set for a minute or so I'm going to drill two 1 8 inch holes in the positions marked by the two X's Now, when I'm done there will probably be a little bit of plastic left in between them so I'm going to use the drill and rock it back and forth to remove that uh, plastic between the two holes and make it one oblong hole now I'm going to cut out the rack by following the lines on the template I'm going to leave the line but get as close to the line as possible with the thin band saw blade and as you can see I've just completed one tooth I'll continue on cutting all of the teeth and cutting around the perimeter. And that completes cutting of the rack. I'll take the paper from the template off and just sand down all of the edges that I've cut to make them a little less uh, sharp. And after the sanding, that completes this, the rack. Just like we did with the rack, we're going to cut out the pinion gear. I've cut a three-quarter inch square piece of plastic, and I've glued on the pattern for the pinion gear. I've also cut a one-quarter inch hole into the center of the pinion gear using the markers on the pattern. Now I'm going to cut the gears out. And here are a few of the teeth cut out. I'm going to proceed to finish the cutting. I finished cutting the pinion gear. I've taken off the template paper and I've sanded the rough edges. And I've also inserted it onto the 100K volume control pot. In addition, I've cut a one and three quarter inch by two inch piece of hardboard. And I've placed a one eighth inch deep slot one and a half inches over from that end. And that slot is just wide enough to accept the rack and let it move smoothly. Now, when you put the rack and the pinion together and you move them, what you get is a rotation of the volume control potentiometer and that's exactly what we're looking for. Later we'll install this in the case with another piece to hold this pot in place. Using the band saw I've cut a one half by two inch piece of plastic out of the plastic sheet. I'm going to heat this and bend it so I can form an L bracket and that L bracket will be placed on the volume pedal and be used to hold the rack. This is just a standard gas range. I'm just going to heat it and watch. As it gets very hot you'll notice that the edges start to fold over. It only takes about that long. I'm going to grab it with my pliers and bend it over and there we have a perfect L bracket I place a masking tape on the L bracket we just made and now I'm placing a mark about 1 8 inch above the long side and centered on the half inch width now I'm going to drill an 8 inch diameter hole
take the tape off you see we have a nice hole there I finished the bracket now by cutting off the excess material on the top and drilling two mounting holes on the long end. I've cut a piece of plastic one inch wide by one and three quarter inches high and I've made a u-shaped slot starting three eighth inch from the bottom three eighth inch thick and five eighth inch back and that u-shaped slot will allow us to hold the potentiometer in place once everything is assembled. Now I'm going to glue using hot glue I apply the hot glue to the the hard board and making sure the orientation is right I glue the piece onto it and our pot holder is set. 